Good morning, ghosties and ghoulies. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you uh, made it back to us. Uh, I'm going to do another um, sketching the dead uh, today. I feel like I have a couple of people sort of in the waiting room, so I don't know who's going to come through. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do a decent sketch of them and um, possibly somebody will recognize it. On an update uh, from the last sketch that I did, uh, which I'll insert here, I actually was uh, contacted almost immediately by someone who recognized them, and uh, as it turns out, the story behind the, uh, the sketch was very, very accurate to their experience with that, this person, and um, th this person actually did try and reach out to them when they were still alive, but they weren't able to get any kind of closure when they were alive, so um, now hopefully that is something that has uh, managed to help that person cross over and possibly help the person who actually contacted me as well. I, I really do hope that that is the case. Um, so that said, I'm going to move on and start to uh, do a sketch today. First I'm going to do a layout of uh, cards to kind of get an idea of this person's circumstances and possibly uh, whether they're male, female and, and that kind of thing. Give me some clues and then we're going to, I'm going to sketch and uh, we're going to move on from there. So we're going to get right to it. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, okay. This is interesting. I'm not getting a real super strong sense of a person, but I am getting a situational sense from this reading. Um, first, it feels like this person was very strong-minded and strong-willed in life, especially in business, and spent a lot of time um, alone because of it. Always starting new things and new relationships and breaking old ones. Uh, this person didn't stay in one place for very long, it feels like. They were very strong-minded and they were very strong-willed when it came to, to what they wanted to do. And they were actually able to do a lot in their life. But there's a feeling of possibly not having had... Um, connections and relationships until much later in life because of that and this was a an oversight on their part there was um they're kind of a late bloomer feeling ar around this person it's not who i thought it was going to be um there's a feeling of having missed out on something and missed out on part of life and didn't start they did start things until much later in life and and it feels like there was a lot of work and a lot of um, a lot of ambition. There's a lot of ambition around this person, um, but later on in life, they realized that this was wasn't serving them um, as much as it possibly could have been, and they left uh, part of it behind and started. It was almost like they had two portions of their life. They had their work portion of their life, and then they had a portion that they they wanted more family and relationship involvement and they actually did have that there is a feeling of having married um, and been uh, fairly this feels like a young person this doesn't feel like an older person but it's it's almost like um, they, they did a lot of work when they were young really young uh, you know early 20s uh, really focused on career and really focused on um, building something that way and then getting they didn't get married until maybe later in their life and it's a feeling of of um, that starting a new beginning for them and, but there is definitely a marriage in there um, unfortunately I don't think that they were married for very long um, there's a feeling of loss and grief around this person and the feeling that they didn't get to experience as much of this as they wanted to because their focus was so much on their career early on in their life and it feels like they that they didn't live um, as long as they would have liked and it, and uh, there's a feeling of this have been not 
uh, not as long of a relationship as they would have wanted, and there's a feeling of of, of a profound sense of loss around that that they left early. Um, they didn't get it together on an emotional basis and and be able to have uh, the kind of relationships they wanted to have until they were a bit a little bit older. Um, it does feel like a younger person. It's it's kind of a strange feeling around it. I'm going to pull and see if I can find who they are a little bit more. I know the circumstance. Yeah, the, the, somebody took, this is a person who that feels like there's an accident around them. It feels like um, they, it wasn't an illness that took their life. It, this was somebody who was in, in some kind of accident and early on in their marriage, it feels like, or early on in their relationship. With, with somebody who was very important to them. Um, it definitely feels like an accident around them, and, and it's something that they, they could have avoided if they'd listened to their in, their own intuition, but they didn't listen to their, their intuition. But I need your face. I need to know who you are. I need to know if you're male or female, um, as I'm not getting a strong sense of either one. I am getting youth, like under 40, but I'm not getting um, male, female. Yeah, working really hard to the detriment. Okay, this is a male energy. Um, this, this is a younger male energy, like um, presenting mid-30s, late, early 40s, um, probably a 10, 10 year window in there. And it is somebody who, um, lost their life in, a, in an accident of some, of some kind. And a lot of that had to do, um, the, the feeling around their, their life is that they were just starting to enjoy their life. They were just starting to form relationships and uh, it feels like they, they, they may have left behind a young family or um, a, a, a young, I don't want to say a young bride, but um, a feeling of, um, an incompleted relationship and an incompleted marriage um, left far too early. So I'm sorry for whoever's husband this is. I am going to try to draw him as best I can. Um, I do. Get, I am getting much more of a strong sense of him now. So um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just put this card here because there is a feeling around him. So let's see what I can do. feeling of real he's really um it's not that he's a bad person he's not a bad person that's that's not it at all but i think there's a sense of real frustration around him um, because he didn't he didn't want to go um he was enjoying his life he just it feels like he he was just married um not long before he passed um and it does feel accidental it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it was an illness or planned, like not, not that that's ever planned, but it doesn't feel like there's a sense of, there's no sense of having known it was happening around him. And uh, he's quite upset about that, and rightfully so. I, I'm not even sure that he fully grasps what's happened, so... And I'm not doing him justice at all, as he was actually quite an attractive man. Um, 
like I said, I'm not an artist, so this is not, you know, I'm doing the best I can. He's got kind of a smallish mouth. Um, he did laugh a lot. It feels like there's a lot of uh, joy in his life, but he worked really hard when he was younger. He was really trying to establish himself um, before he started having relationships and, and uh, that kind of thing. And that's kind of a regret because, not really a regret, I mean, he liked his work. I don't, I don't have a clear view of what he did, um, but he's quite intelligent, so there is a sense of great intelligence around him and uh, a sense of possibly he may have worked in something where he was expected to use his intelligence quite a bit. So, um, interesting, interesting, um, yeah, he's quite He's quite startled by his circumstances now, and um, has that regret of not having spent as much time as he would have wanted to. Um, with the love of his life, really. Um, it took a long time for him to find her, and to um, come to a place where he wanted to be married and he wanted to have a family and he wanted all of that and he didn't get to have it and uh, that's that's very sad it's very sad but um, but he did experience love and he did experience joy towards the end of his life and I think that it's very important for him to to um, to know that he had it's a very odd nose I'm trying to f I'm really terrible at noses that's what I'm figuring out in the course of all these drawings um, I do feel like he was figuring it out he was um, coming more into who he was as a person emotionally and not just about the work that he was doing. The work was important to him. The work was very important to him. Um, and I think he wanted, I think the impression that I'm getting is that he wants his wife to know that she was every bit as important as this work that he was doing to him, or more important, and that he didn't mean to leave. That wasn't his intention. Um, he had intended to stay, and he had intended to grow old with her, and there's quite a bit of regret around this, this, uh, not regret, but he really, he loved the time that they had, and um, it was, un he was just sad that it was such a short time, because there is a feeling of it had been, having been quite short compared to what he would have liked to have had happen. Um, yeah, there's a real sense of profoundness around that. Um, real sense of he wanted more he wanted more time if he could have stayed he would have um, he wanted more time so the sense of that is is pretty clear to me and um, he seems to be, he, I think he was a very kind person. I get a, a sense of him having been a pretty kind, kind
kind individual and um, he was kind of a even though he like he worked really hard and it took him a while to get established in a while to find the person he wanted to spend his life with but he would have done anything for her and you know it's weird because I I want to put a mustache on him but I don't it's, it's so strange it's like almost something something of a there's something of a joke around that and I'm not sure it has it has nothing to do with me um, uh, yeah I, I get a sense of he just, he really, he, he loved, he loved, loved his wife, and he was starting to really love his life in, in the sense that it was coming together finally for him. I fold my hands like mourners, embracing in your way. Cry for the children and their innocent mistake. They don't know why you took yourself away. In a couple years, you'll claim that you were blameless. In a couple years, I'll know that you were shameless. For a decade I have given you my life and my price ten years. I think he just wants her to be okay now and that it's time. It's time for for her to move on. And uh it's time for him to move on. Uh, I feel like I feel like he's been hanging around a little bit, and um, the sense that I'm getting is that it's really time for him to to pass over to the other side. And this may be because she's getting into a, a new relationship, or she's starting to feel like she can have um, a relationship again. Um, and that's okay. And I think he wants he wants her to know it's okay. And that um, that she's gonna be all right. And that um, that he's he didn't need to leave. He didn't mean to leave. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't his choice. Um, whatever this accident was, there may have been some question about whether he was being reckless or, um, you know, question about the, the the accident itself. And he wants it to be very clear. He didn't mean to leave. Um, that's important. That is very important. So this young man, um, like I said, mid-30s. I don't think he's past 40. I think he is mid-30s. I don't, if he's past 40, not very much. Um, uh, I get the feeling of a pee around him. Now this could be him. It could be someone related to him that I'm that I'm getting this this uh, name. Um, but I get a Peter or a Paul. Um, or it could even be a last name, Peterson. But all he wants, all he wants, is his his wife to know he didn't mean to leave that's 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 it there's there's nothing uh, and then he can rest and uh, he can move he can move on in his journey and I think he wants to move on in his journey but um, 
he needs to know she's okay and that she's going to move on to and um, that they all see each other again someday. But it's not her time. Okay, so this is the drawing. Um, if you recognize this man, please give me a shout because honestly I was amazed um, at the first drawing that I did it was picked up, it was immediately recognized by someone, so um, I feel like I'm drawn to do this kind of work now, uh, and there is closure that happened because of that, and uh, I'm a kind of, um, I wish I was a better artist, but to serve this purpose a little bit better, but I'm not, so I'm doing what I can. Uh, okay, if you uh, recognize this fellow, please give me a shout. Um, and if it is somebody that you know and you rec the story resonates with you, um, please know he's okay. He wants you to be okay. And uh, it's okay to move on. And it's okay to... It's time. It's time. You, um... You've suffered enough. You don't have to. And he doesn't want you to. So, with that said, that's the drawing for today, and um, hopefully, hopefully it is recognized by someone, and it gives some help to someone out there who knows this fellow. Okay, there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and um, if you do actually recognize this young fellow, then please uh, drop a comment down below and let me know, or you can contact me privately if you'd rather do that, that's that's fine. Um, this was a, kind of a heart-rending one. Uh, he definitely did not want to go. Um, that was the, uh, the big message, uh, that he did not want to go. Um, Anyway, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this, and I, I, I'm hoping that uh, someone will reach out to me who knows what this is about, and hopefully they can gain some closure and he can move on. I think that he will move on now. Uh, it's kind of a sad story, but, uh, you know, that this is part of life. Okay, so thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, drawing, and uh, we'll see you next time. And until then, stay safe. And don't be afraid of the things that go bump in the night because they're there in the light too.